Are flashlight gloves stupid? That's what we're trying to figure out. I had a manufacturer reach out to me and see if I would try these out and give an honest review. As you can see, I haven't opened it up yet. So we're going to try out the Cool Pool LED flashlight gloves. I'll be honest with you. Um, these always seem like they're a neat idea. But then it's like, eh, maybe they're they're probably cheap or or something like that. But it so happens I have to go out to the shed and grab some things. So, oh, probably should have charged it up before I tried this. Oh, it comes with a little carrying case. It's kind of cool. Keep the charger in there. But, oh, and it's a USB-C charger. So, uh, for all you iPhone guys, it just came around to the 21st century. You'll be able to charge your iPhone. And for all you Android guys like me, you're good to go. Oh, comes with two. That's kind of cool. Um, two chargers. Got some lights on there. Uh, I mean, it's not the greatest material, but it feels pretty good. A little, little plasticky. But like I said, these things are pretty inexpensive. <laughs> Um, you could replace them very easily. So that's cool. Yeah, your kids can play Spider-Man for sure. All right, there we go. Oh, there's a power button. That's actually a power button. I thought maybe that was a light. Let's see if they gave me a charge on them. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Bing! Yeah, they're pretty bright. Even in here, it's a couple LEDs. Uh, LED flashlight gloves. Put them on. There we go. I mean, good for mechanic work, obviously. You know, if you can put them on. And the good thing about these are, you still got your fingers. So, um, it's always a good thing. It looks like the on-off button just goes towards the center. Okay. I got pretty big knuckles, and these are pretty stretchy. So not a, not a huge deal. And wraps up pretty easy. There you go. Put this one on. Really super comfortable. I, I mean, you almost don't even know that you got them on. So I will, I will, I will say that. You don't even still grab stuff, you know, that's a good thing. So still got your fingers and your hands. Spider-Man, like I said, your kids would love these in the dark. Pretty much just the uh, light of my backlight there. Easy to find the answer. Uh, you know, you're, the glare of the light is kind of messing up, but I can read perfectly. So if you're in the dark, you know, do not expose the glove to extreme temperatures. Avoid putting the glove in water or any other liquid. Keep the glove out of the reach of children. <laughs> and I'm telling you to let the kids play with it like Spider-Man. Do not attempt to disassemble or modify the LED flashlight glove. All right. So this is this is pretty easy. I mean, it's great. I mean, it puts the light where you need it. You know what I mean? Light where you need it. And it still gives me enough light to kind of see what I'm doing in the room, you know? It's crazy. It's like, <laughs> I feel like it's a video game. If you ever played one of those video games where you're walking around the hall. All right, let's go outside and uh, grab the stuff that I need. All right, guys, we're going to go into my shop. Now, I do have lights for my shop. But let's just say I did have lights for my shop. Um, as you can see, everywhere my hand goes, it goes. And I'm just, I, I'm only using one hand right now. Uh, let me see if I can. But this is what I was talking about. If you're ever looking for files or something, you could definitely use these P and see how I can see inside um, so as you're like flipping through files you could easily find what you needed you know that's that's the thing if you needed to find files or something in the dark or just in a bin you know you could easily find it 
My loony bin. You got it. <laughs> All right. Well, I think you guys got the point. I'll try to show you guys a car. Um, you know, kind of looking at a car, but, you know, for file systems, for just having some light and stuff like that. These are actually pretty cool. And they're so, like, I don't even know that I have it on. That's, that's the thing. You know, at first I was thinking, well, maybe, you know, but they're so light and so comfortable. Um, you know, I mean, are, are they like the super high quality stuff? Maybe not, but I don't know. I don't know that they need to be, you know what I mean? I don't know that they need to be a little bit on this strap. I mean, I didn't, I didn't even look to see how I was supposed to do this, but I mean, it seems pretty apparent. Um, you know, it, it doesn't seem, but if you've ever tried to put tape on something, so maybe a little tighter, maybe I could have done it a little tighter, you know, so you need a haircut dog, golden doodle, it doesn't shed, but what you got the problem here is <laughs> it's got to go get its hair cut like a woman. Is you've got to always cut it. Now that is a woman, but she got to get her hair cut all the time. You got to keep it groomed. Doesn't shed though. Um, that's kind of cool. All right. All right, guys. We're definitely um, putting the GoPro to the test. It's super windy out here. But the thing is, our flashlight gloves stupid. That's what we're trying to figure out. Um, and throughout this video, now it's pretty kind of light outside, you know, but you can definitely tell that being able to have a tool in your hand, you can definitely tell that being able to have a tool on your hand and still have that flashlight is definitely beneficial. Especially if you're working in a shop and you can definitely tell see how that's the light and stuff up I mean I just think having a tool and being able to work at the same time is definitely beneficial my diagnosis on flashlight gloves are I think they're kind of cool um, who cool right that's what our little box is um they're inexpensive they are useful in certain situations i mean you can see how they would be useful in like an attic working on your car and they could go over another pair of gloves too you know so if you have mechanic gloves on and you want to put these on i think for what they are they're actually kind of good if you're in an attic in a dark spot and you're looking for something like especially through bins you know like storage bins and stuff like that they're going to be pretty useful where you kind of need both your hands and you're setting down a flash instead of setting down a flashlight trying to hold a flashlight on your shoulder or something you just go up in the attic with your flashlight gloves and you're good to go stay tuned for videos on the centra don't forget to like comment subscribe i'll leave a link for these gloves down below i appreciate appreciate you hitting those amazon links they help me out a lot.